Hello, dear researchers. Today, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, an important tool for monitoring the road with name of RDIT, Rain-Based Road Indices Tool. Uh, as you know, uh, when we want to quantify the road monitor, the road uh, events, uh, we need to uh, calculate road indices. Uh, for uh, calculating road indices, uh, you uh, you know we need to different meteorological or maybe hydrological uh, input data. Uh, we have uh, four important uh, uh, classific uh, uh, I mean that uh, different categories of the road. Even uh, the first and important one is meteorological road. The second one is uh, agricultural road. Uh, the third one is hydrological road. And the last one is uh, economic and social road. Okay, are they calculate meteorological road and uh, such indices that uh, they need just a rainfall or precipitation as input data? Uh, so, uh, are they as a rain-based road indices calculator uh, and you need just uh, for the precipitation in a daily or monthly scale for calculating uh, the road, meteorological the road indices. Uh, first of all, for using this tool, uh, we should uh, browse your file or open your file. I click it here. After that, you need browsing your data uh, in, uh, I mean, that uh, every place that you want to uh, uh, load your data. I put it here in sample file, like this one. This is my file. I click it open and after that uh, you should to uh, set some of the uh, I mean the comments for related to your data sets. The first one is uh, select your sheet, the Excel file sheet. Uh, you know I have two sheets in this file. One of them is monthly, the other is the name of the station is Mashhad uh, in daily of uh, the daily format as you see here. Okay. Uh, I should to assign the header of uh, each uh, row, uh, each column. At this step, uh, this is date for the year, and the second one is rain. I click rain and assign the rain value to them. The other option is about uh, the format of, uh, uh, I mean that the format of date. So uh, it depends on your data. My data is like this, and. Uh, if your date uh, like this third one, uh, uh, force um, Y refer reference to the year, and the, the other one for date or day, uh, this one is months, day, and year, and blah, blah, blah for the rest of the format of uh, the date. So this is for my data. Another thing is uh, related to monthly scale. If your data in is in monthly so you should click and uh, select this icon if not please uh, free space it here and don't click uh, here so i don't click it and the last one is refer to the first row if the first row is a header like this you should click it uh, this the first row is header okay all the things for setting is finished. Now I can click the last icon here, load data. When you click it uh, in a proper format, uh, you should see this message, your data loaded. Okay. Okay, the next step for calculating your index, uh, if this icon, is, if this tab is, uh, would be happen. Uh, this tool it can at this panel, I can assign the first year of your data and the start year and uh, up to the last or end of your period of the data as a start 1979 up to 2014. Okay, if you want to calculate uh, uh, eight indices, rain based road indices, you can select everyone, uh, every one of them that you want. The first one is SPI, second RAI. And the rest of you can see here. I want to calculate SPI. Before click SPI, you should set your data. I click set the data. And now I can click every indices that I want uh, located here. 
so I click SPR. Uh, then uh, you can uh, assign the frequency that you want to calculate and uh, achieve your data SPI. Uh, I prefer to use it in yearly scale and after that you can click generate index calculated okay it is so interesting uh, you can see the graph of your data from the start year up to the last year the end year and as well you can save this plot uh, as a picture in uh, if, for example is it if I click it here, I can save this graph with JPEG and maybe in uh, PNG, every format that you want, and after that save, it's, it's good for you to use it in your paper, report, and everything that you want, okay? Uh, if you want to see your data in this table, say, click Send to Table, and uh, finally you can see your the, uh, the SPI drawn indices here from the start year up to the end of the year 2014 and as well you can export the data to uh, an excel file like this for example SPI output if you want to write any other name you can do it and save it and uh, the file was saved successfully also you can open the file here I think I made a mistake, I'm not sure. Maybe you, uh, you can save it by a CSV file. I'll use it for you again and uh, export to Excel, but uh, uh, okay. Okay, in some some of Excel package, you maybe made a face error and you can export to Excel, so it's better to save it in CSV format. And uh, for example, I write it SPI in yearly format and uh, click save and uh, the file was saved successfully you can see it and then you can open it like this one yes it's correct you can see the format of your SPI index in yearly uh, I mean that uh, scale from 1979 uh, to the last the end year 2014 okay uh, another important thing in this tool is uh, so use uh, the severity of this uh, every index that you want. For SPI, according to different uh, papers, uh, the threshold of this index is minus 99. And uh, if you want to change it, you can easily change it by write everything that you want for the threshold of this index. So. I select this value according to different papers and after that if I click severity I can see the severity in uh, this type of data and uh, you can see it easily. Uh, it is one of the uh, complicated process if a user uh, can calculate the severity is not easy but the audit, audit can use it easily. As you see here uh, according to the period we selected and uh, the data is like that from 1979 up to 2014, uh, we have four periods of uh, drought in this uh, station. And the most, uh, I mean the larger one is happened between 2018, uh, 2008 up to 2009. It is the most severe uh, draw that happened in this location and if you uh, stop on the column you can see the uh, severity value of this uh, uh, draw event that happened here. If you want to uh, change it for example to zero, uh, the derivative to zero and then click severity you can uh, see the uh, severity in a I mean the shorter stage in a shorter period and uh, um, but uh, this um, I mean that with this threshold you can see this uh, the most severe uh, drought even was happen at this scale okay uh, uh, so it depends on your threshold if your uh, threshold is changed so the severity would be changed as well okay 
uh, if you want to uh, change your scale for example uh, from yearly to monthly or maybe in a moving average according to these values you can change it for example for monthly I can click it monthly after that generate the data the data generation uh, was uh, uh, some time consuming because the process would be uh, happen for uh, each month uh, when the calculation uh, is finished you can see this message index calculated and you can click OK OK it is so interesting uh, graph here uh, with the with this caption years and months SPI and after that you can send the value to send to table and see the monthly uh, SPI value for each year uh, you can export to Excel or CSV file uh, as the previous uh, sample and as well you can uh, use the tail short as the previous sample also so um, if you want to calculate other indices for example for DI or maybe PN or RI you can use it for example now I want to calculate error here select for example uh, this uh, this index has uh, three scales yearly seasonally and monthly I click seasonally and then generate data index calculated and then you can see it here the value of this index and send to table as well you can see winter spring summer and fall uh, also you can do the same work for uh, export the data to Excel and CSV and see the severity and like this okay I think uh, all the things uh, you can use uh, other indices and see other things but another important tips uh, that I want to prefer uh, to tell you here it's uh, we have another important tool with name of DMAP that you can use uh, different indices in uh, three categories of those events uh, and more than 80 indices you can use it if you want to uh, see the uh, help file and also other settings of this uh, uh, tool you can refer to our website if you click uh, on agrimasoft.com and then you can uh, go to uh, commercial tools and click audit by clicking audit you can see this page and we uh, summarize some of the definitions about severity of the road monitoring and other things uh, and also we have another icon uh, with name of help if you click help you can see this page with different uh, steps and also we dif uh, present different uh, definition of each uh, rainfall drought indices and also we have uh, get capture with different uh, pictures of every step of this uh, tool okay I think I told you every uh, settings and every process re related to this tool I hope this tool is wonderful and useful for you and you can use it this tool in your paper and maybe in your project uh, okay, have a nice day guys.